Hey guys, this is Wufu. I have finally settled in Australia and I met some really cool people. Um, so before we get into the giveaway and my new intro video, I'm gonna talk to you this quick, go over this quick arena commentary with against two subtlety rogues. So the goal is that, well, good rogues can probably, you know, as you've seen in my videos before, can freely solo me if they time it right. Now two rogues can be quite hard. Essentially what you're trying to do is survive three openers. So don't be afraid about stringing your defensive cooldowns and your trinket together in order to stave off their damage. So you notice now I get sapped and I see that they're both opening hard with dance onto my shaman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trinket that and ring of peace my shaman right away. That sort of negates their opener completely. That also doesn't allow my shaman to do damage to him, but that's okay because I'd rather stay alive through their burst and then we can easily take one out with some added pressure as well. Notice that since I'm facing two subtlety rogues, that most of their damage comes from melee hits. So I'm going with damp and harm, just in case they decide to open me. So now we have to face our second opener. But they waited too long, I think. I'm not really too familiar with rogues. But them waiting so long has given me back Ring of Peace, as you'll see shortly. So I'm going to get sapped soon now. And they're once again going to go hard on my shaman. But he has his own sort of defenses, I think some sort of shield, and I get um, I get out of the set pretty quickly and I can ring a piece him and use instant revival to get him up. That was close though, and if they followed up with better CC, they would have probably come to kill him, a shaman, perhaps a smoke bomb. You see they smoke bomb too late, they try to run away. I try to keep him in combat, but at this point it doesn't really matter because they have nothing, they have no damage. They didn't, ch they didn't plan their CCs together, they just haven't done it really well. So I get a, I see the the rogue with perception and um, I try to get him out as quickly as I can. I'm not sure if perception still works. I, I think that it's a passive now that um, humans have. Anyway, so I get sapped again, and this is a really good CC chain. You notice they double blind me and uh, shock me and just keep me out of the game for a while. But since they have nothing, my shaman can just soak their damage a bit. And you see, he he just kiting them, and it's it's okay. And yeah, you notice I get sapped again, which is a really good CC chain. But now my shaman pops his cools and goes apeshit on one of the rogues. And this is how we cause a kill. And all I have to do now is sort of just relieve pressure with the ring of peace, hot up my shaman whenever I can. So the objective of this game is really just, you know, you need to survive three openers and three burst openers. So if you're going to use your defensive cooldowns, make sure you use them with, or against rather, an enemy's burst cooldowns. So you counteract their burst essentially. And that's how you win the game with against a double burst like rogues. I've messaged the person who won the giveaway, and if he is okay with that, I'll put that up in the next video. If you like my new video intro, you can uh, check out Airy Man's channel. He's a warlock, he's a beast, and I'm trolling him right now. <laughs> Make sure to hit him up if you want a cool intro video for yourself. This is Wufu. If you like this video, please like, share, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.